The U.S. Senate Intel Committee has released its long-awaited report on the CIA's Bush-era interrogation program. Here's a look at how a few of the torture techniques work. When sensory deprivation is employed, the prisoners experience total silence and total darkness. Extreme isolation can have profound effects on the mind. In the 1950s, a study from McGill University subjected volunteers to near-total sensory deprivation. One participant saw nothing but dogs, another a green horse, one heard a music box playing, and one heard a choir singing in full stereophonic sound. Like the name suggests, sleep deprivation involves keeping prisoners awake for long periods of time. U.S. Justice Department memos released in 2009 found the CIA kept prisoners awake for as long as 11 days. Perhaps the most controversial and most widely publicized of all methods, waterboarding works by tricking a person's brain into believing he or she is drowning. The prisoner lies on an inclined platform like this. Water is poured through the nose and mouth or on top of cellophane, covering the prisoner's face. The lungs don't fill with water, but feel like they do. In addition to loss of consciousness, in the long term, it can cause lung and brain damage. According to the report, during one session, Saudi Arabian prisoner Abu Zubaydah became completely unresponsive with bubbles rising through his open, full mouth. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.